Tom Welch. Diane Trapasso. Liz Banks. And we have um, Fidelis um, Owen Beaker um, on um, virtual um, <laughs> somewhere. Fidelis, you there? Okay, okay. And um, we will have Marge Cooney um, um, soon. All right, the agenda for tonight is approval of the minutes of February 21st, 2024. Um, at 6.35, we have a public hearing for a special permit, um, 5 Snell Street, um, to Santinius LLC. Did I say that right? Santinus. Santinus, okay. And then 6.45, a determination for 48 Beach Avenue, Mark Renaud. We're actually going to switch things um, a little bit. Um, if you don't mind, we'll do the public hearing after the determination. Um, so... Um, we will. No, for the record, because we don't have a, a quorum. We don't have a quorum, quorum right now. Um, Marge will be coming in, and we need five members for a quorum, so okay. we'll just do that. For a determination, we just need a majority. So um, with that, we will um, have... Doing the minutes? Oh, yes, with the minutes. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you for that. Thanks. Okay. Um, did everybody have a chance to read over the minutes? Do we have any corrections? Fidelis, anything, um, I think, the minutes? Did you have any corrections or anything? No, nothing from me. Okay, anything? Can, um, and I'm abstaining. You're abstaining, I so can we still vote for the minutes, Jean? I mean, can we? I guess he can, he can second. Right. Okay. Um, it's only going to be. You only have the three. There's only going to be three voting. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah. Yes, there's only three, three. so you should wait. Um, all right, then we'll wait. Yeah. We'll wait. We're going to wait because we don't have a um, majority. Sorry. Okay. All right. Okay. Now we will um, hold off on the minutes till our next meeting, and we will start with the determination. So, um, Mark, do you want to kind of tell us? Go up there and use the mic. Come up and sit at the. So it's time to put some roof shingles on my house, but the <clears throat> structure is inadequate. Um, so what I want to do is take the entire existing roof right off, and then rebuild it. Uh, but I want to make a change. Um, what you're looking at is the back of the house. So that's what it will look like finished. Um, the change on that far left side is with a couple of the walls, existing walls come down so that it can reshape it and add that 2.6 inch cantilever, two foot six inch cantilever on, which is a bedroom. So it's just gonna come past the foundation foundation isn't going to move um, I'm increasing the pitch of the roof so it'll be a little steeper and it will add two feet um, just over two feet to the height so I'm at, I was at 15 feet from the ground to the ridge um, it'll be 17 something I have it here for See it up there. And that yellow area is, a, is the area that affected. Um, I'm going to take the floor off over my garage. That's a garage underneath that yellow area. Um, and I'm just going to rebuild it. Okay. Just everything's new. Okay. Had, the house has been in my family since 63. Finish it. Finish it. It's kind of like my final exam. <laughs> I'm a builder. I've been building for 35 years, oh, okay. and I never get to do my stuff. So mm -hmm. now I want to do that. Okay. Um, from department uh, memos, um, there were really um, no one really had any major concerns um, with any of the departments. G, do you just want to give like an overview um, since yes. you're here? So. Mm -hmm. 
So this is uh, obviously a pre-existing non-conforming lot, and really the only reason he's here is he's changing the envelope and that um, slight cantilever. So the the structure actually meets all of the setbacks. He meets the lot coverage requirements, and I have no concerns with the project, and no concerns were noted by staff. The one comment, and I've provided this to Mark, came from DPW. I guess the, the one comment that he needs to be aware of is that the location of the E1 pump was not shown, so they just want him to take care during construction not to damage the pump piping or electrical, and they don't believe the small change to the building is anywhere near the pump area, but they just wanted him to be aware because it wasn't mapped on the um, submittals. So we have no concerns with this at all. It does not increase the non-conforming nature of the structure at all, which is why I recommended he file only for a simple determination. Yep. Okay. Any questions, Tom? No, it's pretty straightforward. Liz? I just have a couple. Okay. So the part over the garage you said you're taking off and you're redoing, did I hear that correctly? Or? Um, yeah, just there's two walls that are going to come down. Not and the whole thing. No. So, no, the whole thing is going to. It's a little scary because it can rain. <laughs> so, the first thing I'm going to do is pray for no rain for two weeks. Well, that'll be tough. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, I have two other contractors that are going to work with me. So, we we can expedite this project. You know, with today's materials, I can get it buttoned up. And with the zip system on the roof, it'll be pretty much watertight. And I'll have a standby top, a big one. Okay, and the only other question is this, on this map, I cannot find 48. Uh, that, this, I, I actually gave this to Mark. So we were trying to find an old site six plan. Lot. And it's um, actually... It has a different number? Yes, they're different numbers. So it's actually uh, 48, 49, 31, 32, 14, and 15. And that only AV is not actually there. No, it's paper. I see 14 and 15. So just keep going all the way back now. Behind 14 and 15... It's are, 32 and 31. Yeah. That's and then, it? it? Yeah, and then the... Part, the portion of Olney Road because that was never built, and then oh, that's a paper. So paper it's a paper street. street? And then, oh, okay. And then 49 and 48. Okay, that makes much more sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was an, the old 1928 plan that we pulled from the registry for him, just to have for his records. And I thought, I thought it was helpful to attach in the packet. Maybe it was not. <laughs> it, it amazes me what they were planning to do there. <clears throat> That's a lot of lot. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know that the, this has come before, not necessarily yours, but other people on this have come before us before. So um, I, I am familiar with that now. <laughs> okay. Okay. No other questions? No Fidelis, other Fidelis. Fidelis, any, any questions? No questions. Okay. All right. Um, do I have a um, a motion? Anyone? Do a motion. Okay. A second. Did Alice second? Wait. Oh, wait. We, we actually we didn't um, do the motion yet. Um, are you gonna? Do you want me? You can read. I don't have the. Okay. A motion to grant the determination to Mark. Um, Renault for the property at 48 Beach Street to allow the reconstruction of an existing roof and the restructuring of an existing roof and the removal of two sections of exterior wall and the reconstruction of those walls to include a two feet by six inch, no, two feet, six inches by 14 feet condolier, cantilever. Cantilever. Post the existing foundation past the existing foundation. The proposal does not intensify the existing or create additional non-conformities, and the owner may apply for a building permit for the described activities as shown on the documents submitted. Um. No, so moved. So moved, sir. Now, Fidelis, second. second.
Our second, yes. Okay. All in favor? Um, we have Fidelis. Your vote yes. is? I think, yes. 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 My vote is. I think Marge just joined. She yes. Did. Yes. She did. Did. Thank you. Okay. All right. So we're good. You're uh, good. Good thank luck. You. Thank you. Mark, we'll get that scanned over to you with the chair's signature tomorrow, and we'll give a copy to the building department. Oh, All right. He wanted a list of what I'm going to do for the material for rafter sizes and stuff, so okay. I'll, I'll give him that at that time. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hi, Marge. Hi, Marge. Hi, Marge. Marge, can you hear us? I don't think it doesn't sound like, seem like it. Fidelis, can you still hear me? Yes, I, I, I hear it. Janae, can you hear us? No, I don't think, think so. She's going to text you. Get the caller. Yeah. Would you like to... Um, Sit at the tables when we get started. I can't hear you. No. I'll put, yeah, I will. All right. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Um, they, Marge, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yep. Yes. yes. I think we're going to get a little feedback. Okay, um, but let's go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. That you want. You want to read it? Go ahead. In accordance with the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 40A, Section 11, the Zoning Board of Appeals will hold a public hearing on Wednesday, March 20th, 2024, at 6:35 p.m. at the Center Office Building, located at 301 Main Street, Sturbridge, Massachusetts. 01566 and or by virtual means if circumstances warrant in accordance with the applicable law on the application of stenitis santinus santinus llc the applicant is requesting a special permit to article 18 section 300-18.2 and Article 11, Section 300-15.2 of the Zoning Bylaw to change the use of an existing non-conforming structure and lot to a mixed-use retail and residential use and to continue use of the pre-existing non-conforming parking lot. The existing residential unit upstairs will, re will remain and the unit downstairs will be converted into a small retail shop containing 873 square feet. In accordance with the plans and applications submitted, the only exterior changes will be the construction of a handicap ramp, new signage, and the relocation of the existing wooden planters to accommodate the full length of the parking spaces on site. No new pavement or grading is required or proposed. The existing parking lot contains five pre-existing parking spaces and the applicant has a shared parking agreement with 428 Main Street for three spaces for a total of eight spaces where six are required. The property at five is located at 5 Snell Street. <clears throat> the proposed request can be viewed at the Sturbridge Town website or arrangements can be made to view the application packet by contacting the Sturbridge Planning Department at 508-347-2508 or by email at jlacy at sturbridge.gov. Diane Trapasso, Chair, Sturbridge Zoning Board of Appeals. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey. Um, so would you like to tell us about sure. Application. So I'm Josh Roy. This is my wife, Lana, residence at 226 Roy Road. Um, and we are excited that we have purchased 5 Snell Street. And our intention with that piece of property is to uh, leave one residential unit upstairs and convert the first floor into a retail space to house my wife's pottery business. 
Um, it will strictly be retail. No production will be done at the site. Um, as you just read, the only proposed changes are is we're going to add a couple new windows to the front to make it more of a storefront look um, and add a handicap ramp as required by state law. Um, the purpose for moving the existing wood planters that are located in the front um, is just so that we can try to make the lot a little more conforming to the parking lot standards because the, the, the existing parking spots are just a couple feet too short. So in an effort to make us more compliant, we're pushing those planters closer to the building just so that we have more adequate space for parking. Um, the proposed handicap ramp <clears throat> will come off the building and then go to the north side of the property and run along the side of the property line will be the access for the handicap spot, um, which will have a look is also large enough to accommodate the loading zone for a van, etc. Um, the two existing spots on the south side of the property are for the residents that will be upstairs for the um, apartment. And there will be no dumpster on site. It will only be a roll away trash can for the resident upstairs and the um, trash from the retail um, location will be minimal. We'll just take that home. We have a dumpster on our property at home. Um, so as you also mentioned, we do have a shared parking agreement with uh, across the street at, I think it's 428 Main Street. Uh, which is directly across from us that's village primitive uh, she's very excited to help us with this endeavor i think it's going to be a good thing for that area it is in the commercial tourist district and i think that along with yankee candle and yankee peddler and all the little things that are happening around there it's going to be a good fit so we are excited about this project and we hope that you allow us to do the proper zoning changes to go forward with it okay gene do you want to Yes, so you have my uh, report in front of you, and you also have the staff comments that we received. Really no concerns were noted. Um, you'll notice that, you know, the DPW director mentions the, you know, backing out onto a public way. Obviously, that wouldn't be allowed under today's standards, but it's a pre-existing parking lot. And actually, they're improving the site by the removal of the, or moving the planter forward so we can get the parking spaces out of the right of way. They've also um, agreed to approach the neighbor to see if they could do a little bit of trimming of the hedgerow that's there to maybe improve site distance backing out. However, as the board will recall, this was the Tinsmith shop for many years, and had they not changed it back to residential use, we wouldn't be sitting here this evening. They would have just been able to continue the use with the parking that they had on site. So really, they've gone, um, to try to bring it as close to today's standards as they can by getting the shared parking agreement next door. And this is very similar to the other businesses in the area. If you pull into Yankee Candle, they only have four parking spaces for two buildings. And on the weekends, I think you see a lot of people parking at the childcare facility and walking around to all the businesses. So I think it will be a good use. I don't, I think it's actually decreasing the nonconformity with the parking lot by um, removing the planter, much to Rana's dismay, and moving it a little further because she actually hopes so to really. The house. Right, she, she just loved the look of it. So, <laughs> right, but right. When, when, it <laughs> when the survey came back and we saw how much the spaces were on the right of way, we just really had to ask that they move them forward. So I think it, it's a good fit for the neighborhood. And it, as I said, we'll become actually less non-conforming. Yeah. Take this down so you can see. If you're done with the plan, I can stop sharing so you can see Marge and Fidelis. Okay. Is that what you would like to do? Right. Um, okay. All right. Do we have um, any questions from the board? Liz? <laughs> I do. Okay. Um, so it says in the, on the first floor enclosure to be removed. What, are, are you talking so on about the right here? Yes. Where the door is? So that's a double door right now. So you walk in the first door, there's about three feet, and then there's another interior door to go inside. So we're going to open that up. Um, that are, are the stairs in that coming off the too? The stairs are all staying there. So we're just going to open it so that the handicap ramp, yes. we have enough room for the handicap ramp to have the proper grade okay. um, from the building. And then you're moving the um, that planter with the 
lights in it correct back so towards the house correct that allows us to get the deeper parking yeah. and um, I actually did a little homework on that those planters were added on top of the existing pavement so there's pavement that's still under there so that's so we're just gonna be able to reconstruct those a couple feet ahead we shouldn't have to do any paving or anything like that we're gonna put the existing light poles back in there because um, they're kind of nostalgic to that building um, and then the planter on the right hand side or on the north end of the property is going to come out to allow the handicapped access okay i'm trying to think Marge has a question. Oh, look i thought i had one more you can okay. ask anybody Marge, else. you said you have a question go ahead Marge. Uh, yes it's, uh... I just want to know how the discussion went uh, with regards uh, with the neighbor regards to the trimming of the shrubs there to enhance the uh, vision of the bark. She. In regards to the bushes. Yes. We haven't had a discussion they, with them yet. Yeah, Marge. They haven't had the discussion. They they agreed to have the discussion if you know if everything's approved here tonight and then with planning board they'll approach them but obviously we can't compel them to but they'll have a conversation with them and see what they can do Tuesday night yes yes okay yes okay. yes back so it'll be like thank you you're welcome. I can, I'll, I'll ask one. Go ahead. Okay. So on this, up here, this one, it says new porch location. Is that right here. the back. front or the back? This is Main Street. This what are you looking at, Liz? Main Street. No. This is this. It's on the, um, Parking nice lot street. use agreement. Gotcha. And in the back it says. Oh, it's that side street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's the neighbor's property. That's the neighbor's. This isn't their property. No, actually, that was just. That shouldn't have been attached. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at it and I said, well, they're going to make it bigger. Oh, that's the neighbor's plan from when the planning board approved the neighbor's plan. Oh. So, <laughs> so it's just the okay. front sheet. <laughs> Well, then I don't have any questions about it. <laughs> you confused me for a minute. I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so they're not backing out on it. We're backing out on it. It's now it's straight. Oh, right? no, they don't have to think? back out. They don't have to back out. Oh, um, well, depending on. Yeah. Do any other, um, do you have any other questions? I do not. Do you have questions? Mm -hmm. No, I, I just was wondering about the parking on it, but I think I figured it out, so no, I'm good. Uh, you good? Yeah. Fidelis, questions? Uh, I just want a quick clarification. So this property was at, at some point zoned commercial, right? And then it was switched to residential and then now it wanted back to commercial. Yes, that, so is it, is, it is still zoned commercial. There was the uh, Tinsmith tin shop was downstairs with a residential unit upstairs. And uh, several years back, that was changed to a residential unit downstairs, but it's still zoned commercial, so the retail use is a permitted use. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And do we have any other questions? I, I don't have any. We have to do this. They, Jean already mentioned that. Okay. Any other questions? Marge? No, I'm good. Okay, anybody? No? Are we ready to close the public hearing? Yes. Motion, please. March made, made the motion. March made, March made a motion okay. to close the public hearing. Okay. Second? Okay. Liz? Liz? Liz, okay. second. All, all in favor? Okay, Fidelis, you have to like right. say. Marge got it. Marge? Oh, uh, she had her hand They up. both have their hand up, so 5 0 yeah. 2. Okay. Close. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the, um, the public hearing is closed, and now um, we need to um, make a motion for the finding. Do I have anybody want to make a motion? <laughs> Marge. Marge. 
Can you hear it? I can. So, so, okay. So, so, she, so can she said. It. So she said she would like to make a motion yep. to find that the proposal will not be more detrimental to the neighborhood as it is consistent with prior uses on the property. Did I get all that, Marge? Correct. Okay. Okay. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Um, no. Any discussion? Nope. All in favor? Marge? Okay. Five. Okay. Five, zero. Okay. All right. Now I need a. Now I need a um, a motion to approve the um, to grant the special permit. Marge. I think Marge is. I'll make a motion to grant the special permit. Yeah. Oh. There'll be no agreement regarding the shrubs, so I just will agree to speak to the abutter. Okay. 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 Right. Okay. Oh, good. Okay, thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Second. Okay, Tom. Um, all in favor? Okay, excellent. It's unanimous. It's unanimous. Okay. Good luck. All right, good luck. Thank yeah, that'll be a good fit for right there. Thank you. Yes, excellent. Looking forward to that. Thank so. you. Have a good night. You're welcome. See you on Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to do the uh, why don't we I mean, just why don't we do them now, right? You can do the minutes now. Want to do the minutes? Okay. okay. Um, uh, we're going to do the approval of the minutes of February 21st, um, 2024. Um, were there any, did anybody have any corrections or anything? Nope. Can I have a motion to accept the minutes? Yeah, make a motion to accept. Okay, second. Okay, all in favor? Okay. All right, and all in favor? All right, we have one abstention. And two one. abstaining. One. We have three, zero, two abstaining. Okay. And Liz abstained too. Yes, yes. Liz. Yes. Marge abstained. Okay. Okay, um, older new business, town planner update? Um. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Uh, any older new business? Yes, go ahead. Uh, Jane, at one time, when, um, we had accessory dwelling units. Yes. Uh, they had to uh, submit something stating who was the one that they were in agreement with the accessory dwelling unit, and if that changed. Yes, so that. Uh, that, that had to be, oh, sorry. Had to be a notification of it. Yeah, so that is no longer. That still stands. No, it does not. That was in one of our earliest versions of the ADU bylaw. 
and it was taken out some time ago and the renewal provision was also taken out some time ago what we found was people invested a lot of money in the unit and then if say their daughter was going to live in it they couldn't sell it that way and the bank wouldn't finance it because the permit was specific for that particular tenant so I think most towns have taken that language out of their bylaws as have we yeah it was kind of convoluted in the start <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I understand. I can see why they did it. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Any um, old or new business? No? Uh, no, I, I, I have a new business. Well, not, not a business, but next month I'm, I'm not going to be around. I'll, I'll be out of the country when we have a next meeting. Okay. April, okay. Thank you. Yes. So April 20th? April, um, it is April 17th. 17th. Vacation so we we have nothing right now we okay. can look at changing to the week before the week after I'm assuming Fidelis will be out of the country for more than one week yes I'll be out for more than a week. well I'll be out that week but I'll be back the next Wednesday so um, okay. if we had something the week before that's fine okay okay why don't we wait and see if anything comes up before we change. Yeah. Okay. Right. And if okay. not, maybe we can just go to May. We'll right. See what comes in. Exactly. I'll keep okay. you all posted. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Anything else? Okay. Um, then um, a motion to adjourn. No, I don't. Um, oh. All right. Second. Oh, what? Do you have a question? <laughs> No, I was going to make the motion oh. to adjourn. Oh, Tom, yeah. Tom made it. Second? Second. Second. Okay, all in favor? Okay. He made it. <laughs>